So Andrew Tate is back. He's having a meltdown, and apparently it's CoffeeZilla's fault. My investigation. Let's go. I'm in big trouble, guys. The alpha male oh, no. Andrew Tate is after me, as is his uh, war room. They're call all coming after me after I investigated Andrew Tate. Now, previously, oh, no. Tate was a big fan of mine. But would you believe no, it? We'll see. After I asked him some questions, that all changed. CoffeeZilla, who actually kind of respected and had a brain. CoffeeZilla <laughs> is a b I don't give a about your video. I don't respect your journalism. That's right. He doesn't respect my journalism anymore. You can see I've really, really angered him. Now, I haven't released anything of my investigation yet. All I've done so far That's is ask we're very basic next. questions to Andrew Tate about crypto coins that he's promoted. There's a bunch of coins that are down 90%. Some would call scams. Of course. Of course. Yeah, of course he's going down the crypto road now. And I just had some basic questions about why you promoted them after saying that, uh, you know, Tate's famous for saying, oh, I don't need to promote these meme coins. I don't need to scam my fans. I don't need to rob my fans. And so this is what you do. In fact, uh, this is what the mm. Tates complain about. There are no real journalists left. Oh, we're the real journalists. But this is actually <laughs> what you're supposed to do. You go to people with questions before you release the story to make sure you hear their side. And so that's what I did, of course, wow. even with the Tate brothers. Wow. What? He's taking journalism serious? No. Bro, of course people can't fucking distinguish actual journalism anymore with all the fucking fake journalism we have nowadays. Of course people don't know what fucking actual journalism looks like. Of course not. Oops. Fucking signs of, uh, signs of the time, man. Who I figured wouldn't exactly give me a completely straight answer, but, you know, nonetheless, I had to do my due diligence. Now, in response to my request, Andrew Tate said this, and then he leaked my Daddy? email address, which I okay. thought maybe was unintentional, until he told his fans to actually go email me on his behalf to call, call him gay. <laughs> Gay. <laughs> oh me gay. And then went on a two minute rant where he never answered a single question. Instead said he would pump a meme coin if his fans, I guess the war room, the real world, flooded my email, disliked my upcoming video, even though no one has seen it yet. This is my statement to you, CoffeeZilla. You're a f He's actually having a meltdown. Bro. Yes. Wow. Wow. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Doing this little breakdown. Hashtag free the Tates? Are you for real? This investigation, you just emailed me in a actual tone saying, oh, I want to ask questions about this coin, this coin. He emailed him in a tone. Okay. You can have a tone in an email? You can have a tone in text? Okay. You really think you're going to do a investigation into the fact that meme coin prices go up and down and the, all the cards and the real trenches are going to agree with you of course they go up and down it's meme coins nobody cares i'm built different i'm loved nobody likes you nobody's scared of your yeah what Holy shit. Investigation. Your emails sound I accidentally leaked your email address. Now everyone's calling you Accidentally? You literally said go call him gay? I regret nothing I've ever done. Suck my daddy <laughs> to the moon for every single person who can show me they have emailed CoffeeZilla and called him gay. I will buy daddy. And for every single dis- you will buy daddy? I guess that's what the coin is called? Daddy? That's so fucking cringe, bro. Right. On his upcoming bullshit expose, I'll buy more daddy. Ah, yes. The classic normal response of someone who doesn't care about an investigation. So now I've got an email inbox full of slurs. <laughs> you are gay. Gay. Gary? No, never mind. It's gay. Oh, oh my god, even the F slur. From Andrew Tate's uh, a lot of them. room. Well, are you the gay? inside council. The alpha males. This feared group of elite men. Legit, I have hundreds of these emails all freaking out 
ironically, on behalf of an alpha male who's also freaking out about questions that he refuses to answer, about an investigation that none of them have seen, but they're planning to dislike in advance to own me. And like, bro, the investigation could have even been in Tate's favor. It could have been even in his favor. He didn't see it. Oh my God. To prove to their daddy that they're going to be, they're, they're good daddy. little boys, right? And by the way, that's not my word for him. Tate promotes a coin called daddy. Okay. So just imagine how cringy you have to be to follow a. <laughs> Dies of cringe. Dies of cringe. Guy that you are calling daddy and you are paying him financially. Meanwhile, we've had zero questions answered. Uh, <laughs> that two-minute video rant exists. There are several other tweets from Andrew Tate just completely having a meltdown. In fact, he said he might have an emergency. Gayzilla? Gayzilla said the largest online financial education platform on the internet, university.com, is a scam because people only... 10 times the investment. He caught a few scammers, but they got upset. Tate's amazing and acted pretty jealous. Why did he say this? He's a poor gay Jew. <laughs> ah, <laughs> he said he might have an emergency meeting on me. Oh, oh no, no, guys. An emergency meeting. <laughs> Coffeezilla is about to release a report. We used to like him. Now we hate him. Even Tristan Tate got involved, often thought as the more eloquent and calm of the Tate brothers. You can see he's not faring much better than Andrew Tate. Very mm -hmm. weird and cringy behavior from the two worst alpha males. Um, either way, though, guys, sincerely, I would appreciate an answer to my questions. I mean, you do have my email. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. No, let's get let's get actually into it. Let's get actually into it. Let's suck and go. Exposing Andrew Tate's crypto grift. Andrew Tate is a grifter, alleged human trafficker, and unfortunately, and this is true, a Coffeezilla fan. Coffeezilla, who actually kind of respected and had a brain. That is until I investigated. <laughs> now he's having a meltdown and doesn't like me anymore. This is my statement to you. There it is. There it is again. Coffeezilla, you're a f Nobody's scared of your investigation. I don't give a f about your video. I don't respect your journalism. Ah, uh, yes. The normal reaction for people who don't care. Melting down on yep. Twitter about how not worried you are. We'll come to Tate's mental breakdown in a moment, but you should know this isn't Tate and I's first run in. He didn't like it when I exposed his get rich quick scheme over a Hustless year ago. University, but this time, Tate is. stepped into my territory. Said he was going to launch a crypto coin. So I immediately pointed out that over a year ago, Tate said that he didn't need to rob his fans and he wasn't going to launch a coin. Tate mm -hmm. replied, imagine being such a great detective, you can't detect a joke. Now, I'll admit that. DNG? Degenerate? No. DNG? I have no idea what that's supposed to mean. One stung a little bit. And when I did some research, I realized I had been tricked. Are you going to launch your own crypto? No, I'm never going to launch a crypto. I just like to f with crypto Twitter because crypto Twitter are full of the biggest degenerate losers on the planet. They're losers. Crypto is the only scenario I can think of where you can make a whole bunch of money while benefiting society zero. Well, there you have it. I mean, I <laughs> Wow, isn't he eating his own words? I can apologize. I can admit when I'm wrong. Clearly, it was a joke. Tate would never actually scam people with a coin. I heard about a coin called Mother, so now I'm supporting a coin called Daddy to flip it for the patriarchy! <laughs> for the patriarchy! Let's fucking go! <laughs> We're bringing the G's back! Make me a fucking sandwich for the pants! <laughs> Then I'm settling all my daddy on fire because I, I don't know, I don't, I don't know what that means. One chaos, top G. Oh, turns out he did multiple times. Oh my God. There's more. 
bought 10k of Madonna coin because Madonna never selling diamond hands. Double What's times. next, Madonna? And now oh my God, he bought different ones. Coin if you stay subscribed to his get rich quick scheme. So we're going to talk about all of that. We're going to investigate it. But first, we have to catch up with the Tate brothers. What have they been up to besides yeah. getting arrested? Most <laughs> people know the Tate from clips talking about the Matrix, politics, and feminism. But the two yeah, brothers yeah, have made yeah, yeah, almost yeah. all their money from something else. According to Tate, the way they got rich was webcams. Webcam? Huh? Webcams? Taking advantage of lonely men. They brag uh. about it. Oh, yeah, wasn't it like he actually had women doing, like, something like chatterbait? Like, shit like that? And me and my brother, and eventually some staff I trained. Like, he was literally a pimp. Like, literally. Yeah, yeah. We do all the talking. The girls were just pure, just famousers. We were taking their money. All of it. And then they broke in. He's proud of taking all of the money? To male empowerment, which is ironic teaching dating, manliness, and of course, money. You could join Hustlers University for $49 a month, where the best hustle was students reselling the course to their friends, which actually got the Tates quite popular because they encouraged the students to post their videos everywhere. But okay. with that popularity came scrutiny, as old clips of the webcam business started surfacing, and not everyone found it as funny as Andrew did. PhD is a pimp and hose degree that I'm... Yeah, that didn't age really that well. Now, eventually, Romanian courts charged the Tate brothers with human trafficking. And although the Tates deny these claims, the PhD course almost perfectly describes the lover boy method, which- Lover boys? A human traffickers usually operate by trying to make young girls or boys fall in love with them. Sometimes they manipulate young people in other ways. Once they have victims under their influence, they exploit them. For instance, in the sex industry. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, if I remember correctly, there was a case where there was a girl, uh, 17 years old, and they were just, like, waiting for her to turn 18. They, they were literally waiting for her. Like, they were, like, fucking... Um, softening her up and all of that shit to then get her to sign a contract. I, I think that was uh, uh, Andrew Tate. It might have been someone else, but I think that was Andrew Tate. That's creepy AF. It is. It is. Is a type of human trafficking. Most of the Tate's fans aren't even aware of these allegations because the Tate brothers have become experts at what I like to call the rebrand. This is where you completely 180 on a topic and pretend you never changed your mind. And this will be important later when we come to crypto. Mm -hmm. But watch for a second how Andrew Tate, a guy who made his money running webcams, now talks about the entertainment business while wearing a turtleneck. Let's accept pornography is bad. <laughs> Why was that important? Why was that important that he's wearing a turtleneck? For a society. Mm -hmm. Let's accept that to be a fact. It, it is, a is fact. true. Okay. Yeah. Why are they trying to destroy the society? Is it because turtlenecks are more feminine or what? <laughs> what was he trying to say? I'm sorry, what? Turtleneck is based. I don't like turtlenecks. I don't like when my um I don't like it when my neck is just being uh, enclosed completely. I don't know. Like, chokers are okay, but, like, turtlenecks is, like, a whole different issue. About the entertainment business while wearing a turtleneck. Let's accept pornography is bad for a society. Mm -hmm. Let's accept that to be a fact. It, it is a It fact. is true. Okay. Yeah. Why are they trying mm -hmm. to destroy the society? Who are these people? What is their end goal? Is their end goal the <laughs> of children? Is their end goal 12-year-olds to sit there and watch and want to have I mean, the balls to uh -huh. say... What are they up to? What What do you think their goal is? Bro! Is he talking? What? She said the pornography industry, right? What are you? You are they. If there was a cabal, you're part of it. You admit to making millions of dollars, making the kind of stuff you're now claiming is ruining the youth. That is the skill that Tate has 
honestly mastered. And we're going to watch them use that with crypto as well. Either way, though, these criminal charges have put a lot of pressure on the Tate brothers, who've had cars, cash, and computers seized. The fact that he says this with so much confidence, yeah, right? Bro, there was a picture of Andrew Tate floating around where he was wearing uh, swimwear. It might have even been a Speedo. And he was built like a candle. My brother in Christ was built like a candle. He had nothing. There was no bulge. Flat. Flat. And amidst all of that, crypto has become much more interesting to them. Not that the Tates are new to crypto, of course, but they've sort of fully embraced the crypto meme coin grift. And just like with the webcams, they do a bit of a rebrand. My problem with crypto is that mm -hmm. it instigated a culture which I didn't like. Mm -hmm. I didn't like the crypto culture as a whole because the culture okay. was based on getting in early, which I mean, I guess you could argue is a skill, but to a degree is luck. Gambling, rug pulls, staying anon, hiding like a little coward in a hole, like a little b and just being a degen, laughing about how you're a re once I decided I was going to fix it, I decided I had to come up with an idea that mm, allowed people to make now. money from the things they should make money from, mm -hmm. which is okay. hard work. There it is. The Tates are here to fix crypto. It used to be full of scams, rug pulls, and anons before Andrew Tate got involved. But now everything's about to change. So we're going to look at the coins that Andrew... It's going to change it all. They're going to be full of anons. <laughs> and people that get in early. <laughs> Whoa. Drew and his brother promoted see what kind of fixing they got up to starting with roost honestly this is your textbook ponzi coin exactly the type of thing tate would call yeah, a scam a year ago soldiers. but now he and his brother heavily promoted it over multiple videos they even had flyers in their videos and of course during the promotion the price did well but when it was over roost is now down over 90 percent. not only that roost's treasury wallet got hacked so oh. the community literally got scammed and to make it worse, the guy unlucky. Only we can scam them literally. The guy who got hacked was anonymous. So remind me what Andrew Tate doesn't like about crypto again? Gambling, rug pulls, staying anon, hiding like a little coward in a hole, like a little. B oh, the same thing um, he promoted. But of yeah. course, Tate claims that he doesn't hold, hold zero coins. coins. He doesn't endorse okay. coins, and he mm. makes zero money. That yeah, is until sure other it. crypto promoters got tired of his grift and called him out for doing the same. Actually, not true. We were both paid by the same coins that we endorsed a while back. He got close to a mill check to chill them. He got a million. He didn't make no money, though. Bro, a million? That's nothing. That's, that's, uh, that's a small change. That's small change. He didn't make money. He, he, he made money. He didn't make any money, man. No money made. A million? Nah. That's not, that's nothing, man. Team paid promotions they were doing. But you don't have to believe that guy. You can also look at the time Tate got exposed. For I told Baron to give me the amount of tokens I would have gotten from the buy in a in at that time and I'll pump it, but I don't think he can. We're okay. trying to get Baron Trump to let him buy Donald oh. Trump tokens at a lower price. Oh. In exchange, he'd pump it. So much for not owning coins, I guess. That was brought to my attention by Zach XBT, who also pointed out that Tate promoted something called Binum Blockchain. His brother talked about it on a live stream. Bitcoin. But, but it's all just a joke. Remember, chat, it's a joke and he doesn't actually make any money. ETH, exciting stuff like Venom. Bro, why you gotta sit there shirtless? Like, nobody will actually want to look at you, man. Like, and vaping? Fuck off. Network. Like, and of course, that price on is stream? down as well. Tate also promoted F Madonna token. And of course, that ended badly too. This stuff is such garbage. Here's Air another money? one of Tate's coins, which is down over 90% as well. Or you can look at this coin. Daddy. Also down. <laughs> Here's daddy. You know, which makes sense given that Tate is sick of crypto being infantile childish and degenerate and that's just the start of it that's just the sludge sense, yeah. you have to walk through to get to the main token the main project tate keeps promising which is mm -hmm. real world token all of those others mm -hmm. if you want to believe tate were just promotions Am tate I? claims no. that this is the coin he's actually behind okay. and it's tied to his paid course 
It used to be called Hustlers University. Now it's called the real world. Now, this has always kind of been the biggest part of Tate. The real world. Escape the Matrix! There it is! There it is, chat! You wanna escape the Matrix? You wanna escape the Matrix? Just buy the coin! Buy the coin! Go on! Do you think he silently th he silently thought to himself, Uvu Daddy at least once or twice? I hope so. <laughs> it's businesses, uh, this get rich quick scheme. But the problem with monthly subscriptions is, of course, that people drop out. They leave. And so the Tates have always tried tactics to get people to stay. Like they've said, Hustlers University was closing. It's almost full. We do have a cap. So anyone who quits or leaves any time, if the cap is reached, you while you're not subscribed, in. you're not getting in. Don't give it. Yeah, so lies. We're closing. But now the what new angle is this real world token. Tate is promising a crypto airdrop to people who subscribe and stay subscribed to his monthly Get Rich Quick course. It's also very important for you people who think you can join for a month and quit the real world and just go back to being a nobody. No, no, no. No, 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 no. You have to stay inside to increase your rank, to get your power level. Because if you quit and then you rejoin, you lose all your power points. No way, bro. He's such a scumbag. He's such a scumbag, fucking preying on insecure man. Sounds like a cold 100% does. So why would you lose all your PowerPoints to save $49? It doesn't even make sense. Okay, so, so Tate's new plan is that you buy a Get Rich Quick course, gain PowerPoints, you have to stay subscribed to keep your PowerPoints, and then they say they will pay you a percentage that their school makes. The goal is that you can buy the token and own a percentage of the school. So imagine you sign up for the real world. Right. You start to make money. You focus on your tasks. Then you can invest that money in the real world token and get paid every single month a monthly dividend from the profits of the school. All right. I okay. think I get it. So you got the people at the bottom. They're paying up into the court. It's a pyramid scheme. Percent of the school. Then you got the people higher with higher power levels. They're making money from people at the bottom with the it's coin. It's a pyramid scheme. And then that, all that money flows up. It's a pyramid up. scheme. It's just kind of this nice little... No. No. Pyramid scheme. No. Uh, come to think of it, it is a little surprising that Tate claims to be working hand in hand with the SEC on this. I am working with the SEC so that the real world token can be launched as a security. Now, maybe that is all true, mm -hmm. but maybe... Tate actually has another plan. SEC, come for me. I'm in Romania. There ain't no SEC in Romania. We're f***ing scammers. We're, f***ing, we're out here doing what we want. I'm gonna pump a coin up. Make 10 M. Peel it off. There it is. He needs a 10 million. As I said, 1 million ain't no money for him. Minimum 10. Minimum 10. Well, I'll be honest. That could be it too. Now at this point, I had significant evidence of Tate lying about crypto endorsements not profiting, and using his followers as a piggy bank to pump crypto. Mm -hmm. I figured now is the perfect time to approach Tate and get his response for comment, his side of the story. So I emailed him and his brother a list of questions about several meme coins they promoted, as well as the real world token. But instead yeah. of replying, Tate leaked my email address online. Oh I, my and God. sent his war room. He called him just a homo. <laughs> Bro called him a homo. <laughs> Homo, the leaked email. Line and sent his war room after me, told them to email gay. me that I'm gay. He even offered to pay money if they could prove they did it. For every single person who can show me they have emailed CoffeeZilla and called him gay, I will buy daddy. Well, that escalated quickly. So um, let me just see if I get the plan right here. The plan is uh, dislike and call someone gay. So the alpha male you like buys daddy coins for you. Got it. 800 emails later, a word cloud of Tate's war room will give you a sense of who these guys are. But I'll also share this email I got. It's not personal coffee breaks. I really want Andrew to raise the price of daddy's coin. And he says he's gonna pump money into the coin. Mm -hmm. Trust me, it's nothing personal, but I bought a lot of the coin and I have to do this. So please forgive me. I mean, you can almost smell the desperation. <sighs> Yikes. Yikes. No. No. 
He's not gonna buy the coins! Oh my god, don't buy it! He's not gonna actually buy the coins! You're getting scammed! Get rich quick by hurling slurs at a journalist. But absurdity aside, I have to say this is disgusting. He's promoting harassment, it's he not is! Normal to be mocking people based on internal characteristics. And even though I have thick skin, I will admit, some of it got to me. Specifically, huh? Tate called me a DNG. What a dork is that? Nerd geek. Oh, is that what it means? I'll admit, he hit a nerve here. Now, before I get 800 emails about being a nerd, I'll tell you, the reason I'm annoyed may not be what you think. Sure, okay. I might use word clouds from time to time, but I just mm -hmm. couldn't believe who it was coming from. Tate. These two, these two guys, I've seen their live streams. And I gotta say, the Tates give me real competition in the dork nerd geek department. You can join the council via the courses tab. Then, of course, we will have kings, rooks, bishops, knights. You will all get a base allocation. This means that if you're a knight, you should work as hard as possible to become a bishop, to work as hard as possible to become a okay. rook, to work as hard as possible to become oh. Oh my god. This is just playing D&D with crypto. He actually is, man. Enemy lover, thanks for the follow. Come a king because you know the day this imaginary project comes true, you hey, will Danube. be rewarded for all of that hard work in cold hard cash. <laughs> cash. Okay. Let me start by saying there's nothing wrong with being a geek or a nerd. No, but there's anyone isn't. who has a council to join and titles people bishops, rooks, and knights loses the right to the pejorative. Newsflash, the Tate brothers are nerds. They're nerds on steroids. For legal they reasons, are. I mean that figuratively. But haven't you noticed <laughs> that they're obsessed with the Matrix <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I gotta have that one in there. And chess, all things very much in the domain of nerds. Just because you try to slap a rented supercar in the middle of all of it doesn't mean we're fooled. Anyone who says increase your power levels is automatically a massive nerd. But beyond this cope, Andrew Tate's real opponent isn't even me. It's himself. Okay. He's the okay. one who said horrible things about people who launch influencer coins. There's no such thing as free money. For everyone who wins, someone else must lose. That you is buy true. a coin for a dollar and sell it for $10, someone bought it at $10. If it then goes down, the person who bought it at $10 loses money. I do not want any of my fans to ever lose money in my name ever because I don't need money. So I refuse to sell out my fans for money. I can't believe I'm saying mm -hmm. this, but Tate was right about that. But now he's doing exactly what he ranted against, extracting money from his fans, promoting garbage that is now down 90%. Meanwhile, the exact people defending Tate blindly are the same people who are going to be holding the bags in a few months, wondering why they aren't rich. Of course, by then, Tate will have something new to sell them. Of course. Rebrand coming in. <sighs> And that is the story of Andrew Tate's new crypto exploits. Hey, right, Mr. Can you Robot give me Man. A Pinot Grigio, please. It has been a long day with very stupid people. Dude, I wonder when the next episode for his movie's coming out. Like, bro, that shit was so cool. Please, Light more of that. Line. Surely that's not what you want in this episode, right? What's the big deal? <laughs> it's fine, but they might be watching. They? Who's. Who's the... Oh, you mean, um, the Matrix? No, even worse, the alpha males. Ah, no. Right, um, okay, scratch that. I'll just have your finest whiskey then, um, shaken, <laughs> not, whatever, just give me that in a cigar, please. <laughs> oh, are we kidding? You're not being the allegations, Coffee. What <laughs> allegations? Well, I was gonna wait to break it to you, but the allegation that your nerd levels are also off the charts. Oh! <sighs> oh, that's what you're worried about? Yeah, I'm a nerd. What's the big deal? What's the What's the big deal? Copy. These tape fans are gonna eat you alive. No, they're not. I've got these guys figured out. It's the one thing I learned while researching tape. You can do whatever you want. You can be as nerdy as you want. You can even tell these people to their face that they're gonna get scammed. But as long as you end it with a flashy sequence in a sports car, they'll love you for it. <laughs> you Put son the of sports a car in. Put a sports car in. Now! Now! I'm in. <laughs> Let's go! It's 
Let's fucking go. Alpha level. It's flying! Trigger dog, say what I want. SEC, come for me. I'm in Romania. There ain't no SEC in Romania. Stammer. I'm gonna pump a coin up. Make 10 M. Bunch of fucking brokies on the outside. Wage cup. Let's go! Fuck stammer. Fuck stammer. So based. This is so fucking good. No, city ain't got shit on this. Yeah, it really doesn't. Huge, so fucking huge. Uh, Tate is such a bitch, man. Didn't remember the county having flying mode. Motherfuckers are flying Lambo, let's go, yeah. Holy. Loved it. Loved it. Amazing video. Amazing video. Amazing. And yeah, fuck Tate. What a bitch. Fuck the patriarchy. <laughs> That's why she YouTubes.